Welcome back to Bespoke Addict. And firstly, apologies for the poor audio quality. My lapel microphone's broken. But I've got another pair of um, gorgeous you know, a alligator. Um, these, are, these are definitely you know, being, being sold this week. Um, I've had them quite a while, I've just never really worn them. I've had them on my feet for photograph photography, but I've never worn them. So I'm just putting them with the rest of the shoes that I'm selling. They're from about 1960. Absolutely stunning. Um, beautiful, beautiful condition, and very, very nicely refined, sort of chiselled toe, um, which is unusual in a shoe like this. And um, I did have another pair which I sold about two or three months ago, very, very similar in dark brown, and um, the toes are much more round and a bit more bulbous. This has got a flatter, sort of more elegant toe. But they are they're made by Foot Joy, uh, about 1960. Let's just pop the trees out. <laughs> just blow that out but um, yeah foot joy they're in just superb condition and uh, very very wearable I've had them a long time never really worn them as I say I've had them on my feet and I've not walked about in them now I've just moisturised them and nourished them at least once a year and that's what I've been doing in the last couple of weeks I've just been nourishing the skins and then just, just dry buffing it with an extremely soft cotton cloth the cloth's almost rotten it's an old sheet um I show you the state of it, there's not much left of it, it's just turning into rags, but um, well, it's, it's a rag, but it's just disintegrating. But it's extremely soft, and that's what you want for sort of polishing your final polish. I call it actually, this is not polish, this is just dry buffing, freshly moisturized skin. The moisturizer is tinted, but there's no polish, no polish on these. Um, exotics don't. They just don't work well with polish. It all congeals in between the scales, and it, they just give a much greater luster if they're just well moisturised and just dry buffed. 100% no polish on those, even though they're very very shiny. They look as if they're smothered in polish. I promise you, they're not. None of my exotics ever have polish on them. You just get a much nicer finish, just moisturising and dry buffing. Let's pull that cloth out of the way. But these are going on eBay UK at no reserve. And um, the other pair sold, and um, I suspect, I know he was interested in other pairs, so I think that guy might be, might be looking at these as well. But they are lovely, but I just don't wear them, it's a shame. I've actually said this is alligator. That's what I thought it was. But on close inspection, it's not. It looks like alligator, but there's just small telltales. It's not crocodile either. It's actually caiman skin. Which are, those of you that know about exotic skins would jump up and down and say straight away, Cayman has all pock marks in each scale. It does, but on the belly, on the belly of the um, the, 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 the 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 reptile, um, that it's mostly belly skin that gets used. The back skin's all spiny, and the belly skin is sort of squarish scales, but they've got pock marks in each one. They're not smooth like this. But the rib area between the legs down the side, not at the front, down the side and not the back, just the small rib area, <coughs> is, 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 this, is, this is that skin. Um, and it's kind of got, it's more spidery, um, the, the veins between the scales. Alligator's much more uniform, the scales are less random. And, it, and crocodile the same, but they also have a tiny little sensory hair on each scale. Yeah, this is definitely, um, it's definitely caiman. It's the flank, it's from between the legs on the rib area. It's quite a rare skin because um, it's only a small piece of skin and um, yeah, most, most caiman items are the belly which is much bigger but the scales are very rough so it's not to everybody's taste. So I've never actually, I've got a lot of alligator and a lot of crocodile and I've got a lot of caiman belly but I've never actually handled caiman flank before. This is, that's what this is. Fabulous, and it's in gorgeous condition, as you can see. But, you know, I, I'm not going to miss them because I don't wear them. I've had them in my collection, I've looked after them, but they've just not been getting worn, and they deserve to go somewhere where they're going to get jolly well enjoyed for what they are. Just a majestic, magnificent pair of shoes that are wearable. The problem is with a lot of exotics, it doesn't get nourished and moisturised, and it simply falls to pieces. It, it splits and separates between the scales. Um, there's no sort of abuse involved, it's just the, 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 the lack of maintenance and they, it just falls apart like a jigsaw. So you can buy vintage shoes that somebody's polished up and photographed them and they look gorgeous and the reality is as soon as they bend, they fall apart. 
that's not these. These are wearable, 100% wearable, and the skins are well maintained, and they're not falling apart. So, um, you know, you can't abuse these skins. These are not everyday shoes. You couldn't sort of wear these daily for months on end, and, you know, they would disintegrate very quickly. But, you know, really respectable use with moisturising continued, and not wearing them as daily shoes, and these would be fine for decades to come. You know, it's a bit like buying a, an exotic Italian car. You don't buy something like that and expect to use it as a daily, especially if it's a vintage piece, you know, like a, a vintage Maserati. They're magnificent, but a daily car is not. It's a bit like these. These are not daily shoes. Um, I did sell some lizard skins about six months ago. They were beautiful, probably in better condition than this, from about 1940. And uh, whoever had bought them um, wore them pretty much daily. Um, for, for weeks and weeks and weeks, you know, through, you know, maybe three or four months, wore them every day, and the skins have started to crack. They had no maintenance, and they're just, it's a real shame because they are vintage pieces. They're 90 years old, and they were worn as dailies without maintenance. So it's a shame, you know. It never occurred to me that somebody would do such a thing, but you know, he sent me photographs of all the cracks. What can I do? But you know, that's <laughs> it does happen to exotics. You know, if you overuse it. Even the newer skins will will crack and separate. You have to sort of regard it as um, as you would if you had a, a very exotic Italian vintage car. Very very similar level of attention. Um, they do demand a lot of care, but wow, do they look spectacular! Right. If, um, I'm, I'm I'm rambling now, so I shall stop. But uh, yeah, these are definitely wearable, but wearable with maintenance and care, and they will last just like this for at least another 50 years.